So this is a video for making Nina Simone, who is the latest Ed's Dolls Club instalment. Um, quite an unusual one in terms of techniques and materials, because you actually are getting lace um, mercerized cotton included in your kit. And that is to make this absolutely fabulous jumpsuit. So when deciding how to capture this incredibly um, strong, inspiring um, voice of the civil rights movement, I looked through a lot of images and um, Nina Simone was depicted a lot actually wearing a crochet outfit, which obviously I loved. Um, it was a flared crochet jumpsuit. Um, I've seen them, I've seen her wearing them in cream depicted images, in um, black. So I decided that I had to capture that. Um, so I've done my um, utmost to do so. So in the following video, you're gonna, I'm going to cover the hair techniques, then I'm going to cover the jumpsuit techniques, and then the earrings at the end. So then you'll have everything you need to finish off your doll. So when it comes to doing the hair, what I've done is I've worked around and around the hairline in rings of different lengths this time. So I started with the shortest ones and we've gradually, so I've gone all the way around the hairline with the shortest ones, then changed to the next length. Obviously the details are actually in your pattern, but I just want to show you um, myself adding um, them on so that you can see that. So here we go. We're going to chain, I'm on 15s at the moment, so two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then we're going to crochet all the way back down that chain. So double crocheting three into each of those chain stitches. Now this it is the longest part of making your doll without a shadow of a doubt will be adding on her hair, but it is absolutely well worth it. So just settle down, enjoy the fact that it's not particularly um, taxing. Um, you might need a couple of good films in order to get the hair done. So one, two and three, and then on to the next one again. So you go all the way down that chain Then when you get to the bottom of the chain, you'll work your last one and then slip stitch into the scalp. So you can see what I've done is I've gone all the way around that hairline, which leaves me with the top of the head here like this. And all you're going to do is continue to work in the same way, in the right, right, same direction. So working around that circle. And so I'll be slip stitching one there, then slip stitch traversing across again. So I'm another stitch away from the base of that one. And then I work it all over again. So I'm, I'm approaching the end now. I'm probably going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that round. And then maybe five or six on the final one to finish off the hair. Um, and that's what creates that absolutely iconic shape within Nina Simone's hair. So following on from the technique of how to do the rings, I just want to explain that theory in how you move around the head to add them on in the right formation. So um, as a right-handed person, I've started here. And actually what I'll be doing then is working in those shorter rows for the back bit like that. So I'll do a few there until I get up to the top of the ears. Then what I do is I go across and join the hairline. And then I'm going to go right the way around the edge of that hairline, working the next length you come around and you're actually working in rounds at that point. So then you start to spiral. And then the step of the, the video that I was just at was when I'm just filling in that patch at the end. So what you then do is you go around. Now that is the route that I have followed in order to build those up nicely to create that iconic shape. Um, obviously what you could do as an alternative is you don't have to go as disciplined in terms of rows and around. Um, just make sure that you're working the longer lengths of um, curl as stated in your pattern into that back bit to create that absolutely um, stunning shape with the different lengths of curls. Um, so that's just a little bit more about the hair. 
Now let's talk about the cotton. So I'm actually gonna go um, almost the wrong way around here because I'm going to show you first the finishing technique of how we sew this on because it is an off the shoulder jumpsuit. So what we're going to do is be making this jumpsuit in three pieces. You're making a top, you're then making the top of the legs and then you're making the two legs separately. And when you've finished all the pieces, as with all the dolls, um, put them on across the body first. So you're gonna put them up across the body first and then all we'll do is tap them into position so that that sits there nicely across that colour change line with our camel underneath and that these two gorgeous bobbled sleeves sit just off the shoulder. So once you've got the clothing on, all you need to do is leave yourself a nice long length of cotton and then just tack the bottom of that um, top of the jumpsuit onto the bottom through the body. So put a few stitches in through that bottom line, which will just hold it into place like that and then come up to the top where you've got that line where you move between the camel and the um, chestnut. There we go, and come through a stitch. And all I'm going to do is do a little running stitch that goes across. So I'll go in to that line, back up through there. Sorry, it's quite awkward to do this. <laughs> Sewing up is one of the hardest things to do. Um, on video, so come in through that one. And the shoulder sit off the shoulder. It is intended to be off the shoulder rather than up like straps. So you could tack those into position if you wanted to as well, but because they've got those bubble stitches on, they should sit slightly lower. So that's me now doing the end first. And one thing just to say, um, as well is I've actually tacked the shoes on um, because they're nice low shoes compared to more of a um, a full shoe. They're, they're kind of representative of court shoes. So much, much lower there, but more of an elegant shoe than we've normally seen, especially when edged in that lace. I've sewn the shoes into position and I've also tacked the bottom of the flares down slightly as well. You see, I've, I've tacked on the bottom of those just so that they do represent a flare sitting over the shoe like that as well. So once you've done that, I'm now actually gonna pop right the way back um, to the beginning of using the cotton to show you how to do the start of the jumpsuit, um, make those arms and then do this um, lacy chain technique to make the actual um, structure of the rest of the clothing. So what you need to do is using your cotton and your three millimetre hook. So it's not that you need to get a different um, hook size at all. You're still using your three millimetre hook that you've used for the double knit wool. You're going to chain 42 and then slip stitch to join it into a circle. So that's the normal technique that we do for something like this. And then what we're doing is we're chaining four and then we're double crocheting into that base chain, having missed two stitches out. So I've done two of them already. I'm just going to do two more to show you what we're doing. So one, two, three, four chains. Then you miss two stitches off your chain. So miss that one and miss that one. And then put your hook into that next one along and double crochet into there. Then one, two, three, four, miss two again and then double crochet into here. And then it's this next bit that I really want to show you because this is how you create the armholes for the jumpsuit in one piece without adding them on at the end. So you double crocheted one in there. And now what um, you need to do is you need to miss nine stitches. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches like that, and you pop a marker into that stitch, now I'm just going to use a length of yarn. Obviously, you could use a um, centralizer, so you could clip that in and then clip that out again. So I'm just going to put a length of yarn in there, nine stitches long, like that. And that is going to be our sleeve hole there. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to double crochet 12 stitches around those nine. So we've marked nine stitches there, but we're actually going to double crochet right the way around them. So go underneath and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11 and 12 and we will be revisiting those stitches to work those bobbles onto those sleeves later on but what you now do is you slip stitch into that ninth stitch which is the one that you marked originally so slip stitch in there and that will just pull it'll spread out those 12 stitches along the nine chains that were underneath and we leave that and then we carry on with our pattern for the next one then when you get back round to your final nine stitches before where you started with the first chain four to do the repeat, you just need to um, double crochet 12 around those nine stitches again. So in the same way that we did on this side. So what's next to show you is once you set off on that repeat, what you will have done if you see um, there is that's where I've done um, my chain all the way around. We double crocheted nine, uh, 12 stitches around our nine to do our two sleeve holes like that. Then we come back and rejoin later. And then you just carry on on this same pattern. So what you're going to do is chain four, one, two, three, four. And then into one of these holes, you actually slip stitch into the middle of it like that. And then you're off onto the next one. So one, two, three, four go along to the next one, hook in, slip stitch in, and then you're off onto the next one. So one, two, three, four, onto the next one, and slip stitch around it. So so when you first start it, you've got 10 and you just, just to note, because it's, it's written there as an extra note, so I just want you to be able to see it, is what you actually do is you turn the underarm one into two. So you do end up with 12 of those little chain four repeats um, down that body and that will then form the top of that jumpsuit. So you make the two things separately just to show you the make bobble. So you've got that in case anyone is querying the make bobble is you actually go into those stitches like that in order to make your bobbles and that will put those lovely little bobbles onto the detail that sits off the shoulder. Right, the final thing then to show you is the earrings. So um, you'll be using your lace cotton again to make the earrings. And what you've got um, included in the kit is three different size of shell um, earrings. So you've got a smaller one, a medium one and a large one. So do be delicate with these, obviously they are real shell, but if you haven't got fully open holes um, to work through, you can always just use something sharp like I just did there, the tips of my scissors, or maybe even a blocking pin or a sewing up needle um, to put through the center of that, that'll just open it up a little bit more. Then taking your yarn, put it through the hole on the earrings, like that, and tie a knot between both sides. So tie a knot like that. Close to the earring, but not too close, because what we want to be able to do is get our hook in. So what you then do is you um, pop your hook between the knot and the actual earring. So you're going to go into that gap there with your hook. And then you're going to chain four with both strands together. So yarn over with those both strands above you and chain four. So one two, three, and four, and then pull it through so that's in. Then we do exactly the same thing again. So split your two yarns apart again and put it through the hole on the medium size one. Like that. Tie a knot through both strands, again in exactly the same way, not too close to the earring because you need to be able to get your hook through afterwards like that and then chain four again one two three four and then to the same thing as you just pop your smallest one on top and then you sew those into position on the bottom of the ears so just pull all your knots a little bit tighter before you finish your third one will go on and then you sew those into position on the ears to finish um so i hope that's everything that you need in order to make nina simon and what I will say is the hair does take um, a long time. Um, actually, the um, repeats of doing the fours and slipping in is quite a fun thing to do after you've done the hair. Um, the main hours will be going into there. You'll actually find, despite it being lace work, that it's actually quite fast um, to do her um, jumpsuit at the end.
You've also got her microphone to finish as well. Don't forget that. Um, so that's nice, easy techniques. Um, just to give you a good look at that, you've got trebles that go around the edge that you just work on at the end. And then you just work these strands on the top to give the impression of that microphone, which is the um, definite finishing touch that she needs.